I came here and I arrived and I it's like it's like my dream to be honest it really is like my dream and it's a bit scarily like my dream and I've just felt so at home here straight away I just felt like oh yeah this is where I this is where I need to be at the moment One of the great things about living here is that you can meet new people every week and you're also at the same time as being in a wild natural environment and if I want to just go off into nature and not see people and then also meet new people from all over the world and hear different stories. So I decided to come here because I wanted a change of life so um, I was living in a city and had a job and then um, most of the payment for the job goes to the rent of a very small house I was living in. So, um, yeah, I, I, uh, I was think dirty at the time and I, like, I needed change and so I decided to risk it. It was like a big step, I had lots of fear around it, but I'm very happy I did it and I feel much freer now. So most days the group that's here this week will gather in the mornings so we can sort of firstly come together and have a bit of time together and also so we can sort of figure out what everyone's doing that day because we work as a group here. And then after that most days I'll go and do different tasks so like in the garden or with the boats or also helping out in other areas of other people's responsibility. And then we'll stop communally to have tea breaks and lunches and dinners so we've taken turns doing that and then we'll go back between those times to do the tasks that we plan to be doing in that day. I've taken on the responsibility of making the bread each week, which I really, really like. And when I was a kindergarten teacher, I made bread every week with the kindergarten children. And now I'm just making a bit more. And I've really enjoyed taking that responsibility on. My granddad was a baker and it feels like I'm following in his footsteps a bit. Often people ask, do you miss something from, previous, from your previous life, but I've not, I've not really. <laughs> um, yeah, I, um, I enjoy living here very much. When I'd taken my year off, I'd had this thought that I need to be surrounded by beauty. And I wanted, because I'd lived in the city for so long, and yet I never felt like a Londoner. After 30 years, I didn't feel like a Londoner. And I just wanted to live somewhere wild. And, and this, it felt like, oh, this is, this is my place. That's what, really what it felt like. And it was like a, a kind of a gut feeling that it was, I, I can't really explain how right it felt to be here. I often say to people that come here that this is my university because I chose not to go to university. And th this gives you a very rounded education living in a place like this because I'm learning lots of practical skills, you know, like gardening or boats or tractors or chainsaws, and then also lots of organisational and people skills, a lot of self-development, because you're holding groups, so that means that you have to bring confidence into being the focus of attention in a group situation. Yeah, I like all the work I do. I love every bit of it. <laughs> um, I often say it's like living in paradise because there's nothing really I don't like to do. For me it's, it's a lifestyle. So we've got guests from all over the world who join in with us. So they either do love and action, which means they join in with community life and follow our rhythms and then join in with the work as well. 
and, and then retreat weeks is where people just take their own space and retreat and then they can join in if they want to or they just take time for themselves and reflect. The doors are open for visitors to come and just be here for a week or two and to just let go of the busyness of everyday life. I think this place can help and be very beneficial to people from all different backgrounds and all different walks of life. I think as long as you come here with a desire to help the community, then I think anyone can thrive here.